And is it fair to say that the rent, Reddit's not over, Wall Street bets is there, but the vibe has changed, the people that are on there may have changed, and it's gotten, dare I say, a little more normalized now. That's right, Brian. I mean, I think the most striking thing to me is that, well, one, it's been a year since that initial GameStop frenzy started. Um, but I think for all the viewers out there who may not be logging on to Wall Street Bets every day, what they should know is that it looks very little like what it did before the mania in GameStop shares. A lot of the veteran users of that forum were telling me, hey, some of that initial thrill uh, that Wall Street Bets used to have is gone. They're saying, you know, I'm not logging on every single morning and not refreshing the page throughout the day. And I'm not able to find um, kind of the diamonds in the rough that I used to be able to find, like GameStop and AMC, before, you know, millions and millions of users enter the forum. Yeah, so you listed in your piece, by the way, a great piece, by the way, the, the, the ones that are the top mentioned on those boards, you're welcome. And of course, GameStop and AMC are up there. You've also got a BlackBerry. I was a little surprised to see Apple. There are some newer names Context logic, of course, cannabis is hot, Tilray. But to your point overall, it does appear like this kind of the same 10 stocks that were the apes were in love with a year ago, they're kind of still in love with or still in love talking about. I mean, that's the crazy thing. And I think that's one thing separating kind of the veteran Wall Street bets users from some of the newer traders who do seem to be drawn to GameStop and AMC. They saw these stocks skyrocket over the past year, and, and they were looking to ride that momentum. Whereas a lot of other people are like, hey, we don't want to talk about GameStop and AMC anymore. Of course, those stocks are up quite a bit over the past year. And um, even though they've fallen a lot this year, down at least 20, 25%, you know, GameStop did see that big jump yesterday. So, you know, it's unclear what's going to happen to these two meme stocks uh, a year later. All right, there's no, let's just, you, this is between you and I. No one else is listening, Gunja, because <laughs> it's a sensitive topic. All right, we know that, you know, those crowds like to knock what we do. Probably more me than you, right? Like financial TV, forget about it. You know, Wall Street Journal, who? Guess what? People are still coming. And I do wonder if you've talked to some of these folks, because they may knock kind of what we do as being too typical, if you will, but if you look through the boards, there sure are a lot of mentions of the Wall Street Journal, of CNBC. Where else are these are these Redditors sort of getting their information and going then? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely this anti-establishment sentiment. And, and what's striking to me is in a lot of my conversations with these investors, it's it's pretty wild how much how much research they've done uh, through online message boards and through other forums. A lot of them have gone, you know, on Twitter. They're finding chat rooms on Discord. Some of them have gone to other groups um, on Reddit outside of Wall Street Bets. And I think, yes, Wall Street Bets exploded to more than 11 million users from fewer than 2 million last year. But there's just been an explosion of, you know, forums online where you can trade stock tips, option tips, and, and learn about this stuff. So some, some users I spoke to said, hey, I'm going to Superstock instead of Wall Street Bets.